So my name is Trevor. I was bedridden for two years. I had pain beyond words all over my body, shoulders, elbows, knees, ankles. I couldn't walk more than five to 10 feet at some times without having to stop and regen my body. It was very confusing, hard to know what was happening. Uh, when I finally did find out what was happening, I uh, did receive some treatment overseas. I had uh, hyperthermia for the first time and I did find some results from that um that lasted for about two to three months and then i actually plummeted quite bad and developed really bad hip pain basically just felt like 110 years old and had no idea how i was gonna get through life and was very scared of dying at that point and uh i actually remember that exact day of my lowest point i was sitting in my parents basement and um I received no more help. It was just, you know, basically, you know, just going to doctors and being told that it was, you know, I was crazy and all the other things that I'm sure many people go through. And uh, I just couldn't take it anymore. And there was one chance where there was a natural bath doctor that I went to go and see. And I still need to go back and thank her very much, actually, because uh, if it wasn't for her, I wasn't be able to get going. And she's the one that told me, okay, I think you have Lyme disease and you need to go to get these things checked and everything else. So, at that point, when I did get checked and I found out I did have Lyme disease, as horrible as it was to find out about it, it was nice to know that now I have something to work on. And we got on some antibiotic protocols. This was after my hyperthermia treatment. Even though I was told to not really go with the antibiotic way, but there was nothing else happening for me, so I went with it. I did notice that I received a little bit of uh, alleviation and maybe some joint pains and stuff like this. But once again, then I fell into new problems and I had really bad skin problems all over my face before I came here and uh, many other things that just other stuff that started happening and I come to realize that that was not the answer either and uh, that's when you know my searches for stem aid uh, came about and we dropped everything and came here and uh, I've seen in other videos before that you know you kind of leave all that stuff behind and come for treatment and 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 it's it's amazing because it's it's true i was researching everything and hoping to find a spot and thinking that there's got to be somewhere out there in this world that can help me and uh i looked through a few different places for stem cells because i heard good things about it and narrowed it down and ended up hearing such good reviews at stem aid and having positive conversations with the people here before i come home and just really rooting for the best and uh absolutely so happy that I made that decision because I'm here and I'm alive today and it feels phenomenal to be here and like living a good life again. And the people here at STEM Aid are absolutely phenomenal to be around, help you with anything. If you come in and you have pain here, pain there, they listen to you, they hear you, they act right on it. And it's just phenomenal to be heard and, and, and understood and taken care of and to see results. That's the best part. I had doubts about some other places I heard about because of refurbished stem cells and going back into the body for people with Lyme and it having really adverse effects that did not help them at all. So that part was really uh, freaky for me. But at stem aid, obviously, that's not how they treat here. And it's all fresh stem cells. And and uh, yeah, so I, I didn't have any fear, to be honest. I had no fear and it's the only thing I had left. So it was this is it or this is not it and it was just go and do it and see how it goes and uh to be honest the results i've had are much beyond anything i expected and uh i'm very thankful to be able to uh receive such amazing treatment and feel the way i do today so uh coming here was a completely different scene you know it was just very welcoming hi how are you can we get you anything sit down comfortability was key everything was what can we do? I couldn't move chairs. I couldn't push the pole for my IVs. Everybody helped me with everything. Nobody made me feel like I was unnatural of a person or, or less of a person or anything. So all of that alone was super welcoming and, and, and like just, just very, uh, you know, important to have when you're feeling like that. And local injections have been very good and helped me with many pains, my shoulder pains. I couldn't move my hands before I couldn't sit down i couldn't get on the ground i couldn't stand up properly walk properly there's all things that i'm doing now exercising i mean my pain used to be at about 120 threshold and now i just i have no pain i just have a few things that i'm working on left and uh it's it's been a fascinating journey through my trials and errors and everything i've gone and everything i've tried to i i i can't change my past but i wish this was my first stop i really do because 
you know, just other things I tried created more issues for me along the way and more problems. And I'm very thankful that the stem cells were able to treat those issues that even brought on more from the too much antibiotics and everything. My skin was awful. Um, if you can see a picture of what it looked like before, it's not the same picture you see today. So I would definitely say, uh, you know, don't be, don't be worried about it. And it's almost a hundred percent. It's going to work. You know, it's definitely going to work, you know, for sure. If, if it, if it were for me, uh, it could pretty much work for anyone. Like I said, I, I was probably the worst I've ever seen not to take anything away from anybody else, but. I, I had no movement. I had no, no, just the fashion. My skin wouldn't even stretch, like couldn't be touched, couldn't sit, stand, nothing. So this is the place to go. Absolutely. I have a life now. I absolutely did not. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, my life before was very hard. I have my life back now. I'm very thankful for that. I'm very thankful for that. And uh, I can live life now. I can exercise. Can you join my son? I'm forever thankful for this place. I'm living like pain, pain free now. Friends again, family. I'm very sorry about being upset. But I, I, I'm living a very good life now. I'm, I'm exercising and I'm doing things I never thought I could do. I couldn't drive my car. I couldn't walk to the store, couldn't do anything, you know, and I'm getting out every day and just exercise and enjoy the sun. I'm here now this year. I'm back again for some uh, one week touch up treatments to help uh, a couple areas that are, you know, it's just nagging areas on the left, but still very dealable. And, and it's already helping me and walking up hills. Like I have a hill to my hotel that I never would have imagined being able to walk up and I'm walking up was now up and down and two, three times a day, going upstairs to the pools. Like I didn't do stairs. Stairs were non-existent in my life. And, uh, you know, now I'm doing them. So it's, it's, it's phenomenal just to have a second chance. Yeah. I thank you guys so much for everything you've done for me.